With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. What potential difference should be applied across an X-ray tube to get an X-ray wavelength of not less than 0.10 nanometer? And what is the maximum energy of a photon of this X-ray in Joule? So we are given the wavelength should not be less than 0.1 nanometer. That means that the minimum wavelength lambda minimum is equal to 0.1 nanometer or 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Lambda minimum is also called cutoff wavelength and the formula for cutoff wavelength is lambda minimum is equal to hc upon ev after rearranging we get v is equal to hc upon e into lambda minimum inserting the values we get v is equal to 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and lambda minimum value is 10 to the power minus 10 upon calculation we get the potential difference v is equal to 12.4 kilovolt now we also need to find the maximum energy of photon of this x-ray in joule the maximum energy e max is equal to h c upon lambda minimum The photon has maximum energy when all of the kinetic energy of the striking electron is converted to photon energy. Therefore, inserting the values, we get 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. Speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. The lambda minimum is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter upon calculation we get the maximum energy of photon e max is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 15 joule this is the answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today